Okay, I'm back and I finished my project. Um, it took me a lot longer than I thought because I decided to be a little more thorough in the labeling, but I just love how it turned out and I'm excited to show it to you. Um, ended up with three binders, um, like I said, but I ended up making a medical binder instead of the transferring the coupon binder over to a new one. Um, I'll just I'll probably buy another folder binder exactly like this for my coupons though because it is very sturdy and I like how thick it is. I like the rubber reinforcement um, you know because the coupon binder gets dropped a lot and open and close open and close so it will be good to have this kind of binder for that but for this project I decided to leave the coupons how they are now and the medical information was a little more than I expected it to be and it just wouldn't fit with the home management binder. So there's three binders. A home management binder which includes our schedules, our bill paying, um, budget setting, things like that. And then the medical binder includes, like it says, our medical information and doctor's visits, um, planning on making some printables for um, prescription tracking and doctor visit tracking. Um, and if I get to that before I post this video, I will post it below. Um, or I'll attach it to my blog and post a link. I'm not quite sure how I will do that, but um, I will attach it somehow. And then a planning binder, which is probably my favorite one. It's got blog ideas. It's got a section for holidays, and it includes um, everything to do with the holiday. It's got Olivia's school information like it did before. Um, so why don't we start with that one, and I'll show you a little bit of the inside. And eventually I do want to make covers, but um, I, I, this took a really long time, and it's almost midnight and I need to get this posted before 6 a.m. for the contest on homeorganizing.com. Um, so here is the planning binder and I like how the labels, you label it from the inside and it's protected so on the outside it doesn't get beat up and, and dingy looking. So and it, it's held in pretty firmly from the inside so that's nice. And so the first section is project section and I got this pretty printable. I don't think I mentioned it before from iHeartOrganizing.com and actually it might be iHeartBlogspot, iHeartOrganizing.blogspot.com but I will link that below as well. So here I have this. Um, in this little pocket, I have ideas that are on scrap paper that I haven't put in the formal pages yet. And I have um, a paint reference for what color paint we have for each room. Um, and I've put it over here because I need to go through by paint and put a little swatch of the color so that I can always have a reference for that. So again over here I've got my project list which is ongoing and then these worksheets I believe is from the same website. It is a more detailed um, what I want to do with the list and it's got a space for space description and then down here it's got, sorry my light is in the weird spot. It's got space measurement and layout of the room, things like that. And I like to use post-its when I'm doing projects or making lists or anything um, so that when I go to the store, I can just take the post-it with me and not have to take you know, even a whole sheet of paper. So I've got those for each room. And then in the back, I've just got a page protector with a bunch of blank, a bunch of blank pieces of the, the same printable. Next section is a cleaning section. I've got my cleaning routines. Um, same, same things I had in the old binder. Uh, I want to do point out the labels. I think I just love labels. 
I think it's so pretty. And I got the clear so you can see through. It looks a little better than the white. Um, so this next section is holidays and parties. And then, whoa, sorry. And then I further divided it up with just a piece of cardstock by, let me try and get it in my light here, by um, party or holiday. So I've got a baby shower I'm helping plan. We've got birthday ideas, Halloween, Thanksgiving. And we also have Christmas. And in this section, I included um, wish lists. So either that's gift ideas for birthdays or whatnot, or lists of things that I see that I want um, for the next holiday or when I have a little extra money. I can look at that list and, and get what I need. So then I've got a blogging section. And again, I further divided this. Um, the first section is calendar. And this was printed from um, thenesteffect.com. And it's it was a free printable, I believe. That is no longer the case. But you can buy it from her Etsy store if you... Um, go there and I will link to her blog below. She's got a couple blogs that I follow. So I just went in and wrote some ideas for my vlog. Vlogging is in purple and the blog is in orange. So, you know, some days that may switch. Some things may not get done, but lots of stuff going on for January. And I actually printed one for every month and stuck some ideas in there of of what we could do each month and you know maybe what my theme could be and then the next section for blogging I've got a list of posts um, and then I've got a list of um, things to do to get your blog noticed um, I've got a bunch of blank well actually just one left one blank one left as well um, that I probably should put in a page protector so that I know to copy that instead of use it. But anyway, so the next section is Olivia's school info. Same thing as before. Um, the cheer elite, her cheerleading group. Same thing as before. And then I've got um, a blank section at the end. That is the planning binder. And next, um, real quick. Because I'm not going to show you any personal information or anything. But um, next is the medical binder. But I will just show you how I set it up. In the front I have a calendar. Um, not marked for the year or anything. But just some blank lines to remind me of what month we need to do our schedule our doctor's appointments. Like every six months for the dentist. Um, that kind of thing. I've got um, just fem information, family medical information, and insurance information behind there. And then I have a general just insurance section. And at the top, let me try and get this in the light again. In the top, I broke that into medical insurance, vision, dental, and life insurance information. And it's just general, what is covered, what doctors are in network, um, our policy numbers that kind of thing so the next um, sections are um, us as a family so I have sorry guys it's dark out and now my light is is funky so I've got Arinthius, Krista, Olivia and Carter we each have our own sections and within each section in the beginning is the general medical section and then it breaks up by immunizations, optical, dental, and then um, some separate sections just based on, um, you know, like OBGYN for me and um, things for Olivia, like school assessments, different things like that. Um, so that's pretty much that binder. And each, each of us, you know, have pretty much the same information in there. Um, but I thought that would be easy to keep that stuff organized and I'm happy it has its own binder now and then the last one I did the management binder I'm really called the home management binder but 
um, I wanted the words nice and big and be the same as the other two and the home wouldn't fit. So this is my home management binder. And again, it has the same setup, same kind of sections as before, same setup as the new binder. So we've got schedules, we've got budget, we've got monthly bills and accounts, and then debt. And the only section that is broken up, uh, I lied. I lied. There's two sections broken up. The um, budget section is broken up between our actual budget and then the printables for the budget. Um, so I have several that I need to print off actually. This one helps to keep track of monthly spending and then I've got several others um, that are kind of planning in planning stages for budgets. And then the bills section is broke up between our monthly bills and um, accounts. You know, like what website do I go to to pay the electric? That kind of thing. I always like having a copy of that. And then I will show you this annual bill schedule sheet. I may have mentioned it when I went through the old binder, um, but it's from organizinghomelife.com. It's the website that I'm, you know, entering for the contest. And it is awesome, guys. It's got, I put my bills in order. So what's due in the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th to the 30th. What the bill is. And then each month, you go through and you just check off when it's paid. So now we can check off rent and water is paid for January. Once I set this up, obviously, it's not set up yet. And then um, if any month, like our car insurance, we don't pay monthly. I think we pay every four months out of six. So, um, you know, I don't know why it's set up that way, but it just is. So we'll pay like January, February, March, April. Then we won't have a payment for May, June. Then we'll pay four months and so we won't have a payment November, December. So I'll just X out those months that I know that we're not going to owe a payment for. Or things like our our car luxury tax it's only a once a year tax so I know mine is due in December so I can just go through and X out every month except December so I remember that that's coming up and I remind myself it's not something that's due all the time so that is um, that's my project and I'm going to put the links um, and all the information for the contest in the section below um, this video and also in my blog over at Mom Paper Scissors, um, which is Christagram.blogspot.com. And um, yeah, so I'll put all the information there and I will let you know how to vote for me. I would love it if you would vote for me. Um, there's some awesome prizes. And then also I would love it if you check out the website because her website is just awesome. Um, <clears throat> also, there are three more weeks after this week that you can join in with the organizing projects. You can join in, um, I believe next week is a kitchen organization, and then there's a closet one, and then the living room and, or family room. Um, I believe those are the three. Uh, maybe not in that order, but uh, I will link all that information. And I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. This was Vloguary Day 3. Bye-bye.